Hey everyone, David from Sunday Sounds here. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to replace your mod wheel with a knob, a fader, or something like an expression pedal. Here at Sunday Sounds, we use the mod wheel all the time to bring layers in or out dynamically or to adjust things like the filter cutoff of a pad. But some keyboards don't have a built-in mod wheel. So the good news is that it's actually really easy to replace mod wheel functionality with any other MIDI control, whether it's a fader, or a knob, it really doesn't matter. You just pick whichever makes the most sense to you. As long as it sends MIDI data into main stage, then it's really easy to set up. Uh, but there is one extra step that you need to know. So sometimes folks will uh, think that all you have to do is reassign um, and then it won't quite do what you're expecting. So really quickly, I'm just gonna show you the two steps that you'll need to deploy in order to replace mod wheel functionality with a knob, a fader, or an expression pedal. All right, so we're gonna jump right in. I've got main stage three open and I'm using our Sunday Keys template. This process is actually the same no matter which main stage concert you find yourself using. So the first step we're gonna do is over in layout mode. And this is the step that most people get to intuitively. You grab your on-screen mod wheel here and then you just pick the hardware that you want to use instead of your physical mod wheel. So you highlight the on-screen mod wheel and it'll be highlighted in blue. And then up here in the screen control inspector area, you're gonna click this button that says assign. And when you do, it's gonna glow red. So whichever control you press next on your hardware is gonna be assigned to that on-screen mod wheel. I'm gonna use for the sake of this tutorial, this knob here in the corner of my Nano Control 2. It really doesn't matter what hardware you want to assign. As long as it sends MIDI data in, it can be fine. It, it, it could be a fader or a knob or an expression pedal. So now that this is highlighted in red, I'm just gonna go ahead and move this knob. And you'll see as I do this, the on-screen mod wheel starts to respond to this knob being turned. And that lets me know that the assignment has been made. So then you just wanna click assign again so you don't accidentally reassign to something else. So now that we've got that good to go, we're gonna go over to edit mode. And this is where most people get tripped up because you'd think if you see the on-screen mod wheel moving that it's gonna do what you expect, but unfortunately that's not what happens. So as I move this knob, you see the on-screen mod wheel move, but the sound doesn't change. It doesn't respond like it does when I was using my physical mod wheel earlier on in the video. So there's just one extra step that you have to take when you're using something other than a mod wheel for it to actually do what you're expecting. So the second step here happens in edit mode at the concert level. In your patch list, this is the very top of your patch list where you'll see this orange folder and the name of your concert. The concert level is where you can make global changes to the way that your main stage concert behaves. So now that we're at the concert level, you're gonna click the on-screen mod wheel again. And by default, it'll probably say something like same as input here for the mapping. You're gonna to wanna to scroll down this list all the way to the bottom till you see a blue folder that says send to all. Click on that folder and then you'll see a few different options. These will vary concert to concert. Uh, these just reflect the different MIDI controllers that you have connected to your computer. So you wanna choose the name of your keyboard. Most likely it's gonna say something like keyboard one or if you have a specific brand of keyboard, it might say the name of your keyboard and then destinations. So I'm gonna click keyboard one destinations right here. And then all we have to do is click on one modulation. So essentially what we're doing here is telling main stage, hey, when you hear something or receive data from this knob, we want you to translate it to modulation data. Those are the two steps, the assignment in layout mode, and then this mapping to modulation in edit mode. So now that we've got this done at the concert level, we can go back down to our patch and you'll see that as I move this knob, the sound is altered as we'd expect from a physical mod wheel. And that's all there is to it. If you wanted to use a different piece of hardware, you would just go over into layout mode and assign that knob, that fader, that expression pedal. Uh, after you make the changes that you want, just be sure to save your concert file so you don't have to repeat these steps every time you open up main stage. And if you ever go back and you have a physical mod wheel that you wanna use, you can just go to the concert level again, click on that on-screen mod wheel, and then change it to same as input. And that will essentially delete the mapping that you have in edit mode. And then you would just assign your on-screen mod wheel to your physical mod wheel like you would any other time in layout mode. All right, and that's all there is to it. If you're using MainStage as the center of your live keys rig and wanna learn more about how to use it to its full potential, 
then we have tons of tutorials, resources, and free downloads for you over at sundaysounds.com. Just click the link in the description of this video now if you'd like to check them all out. Otherwise, if the video was helpful for you, be sure to like it, comment on it, and subscribe, and uh, be sure to check out the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.